in real estate, we are paid proportionally to the quality of words that come out of our mouth. Do you believe that's true? Hi, and welcome to another edition of Agent Inner Circle Tips here. I'm James McDonald with Agent Lead to Close. Have you discovered that whether it's over the phone, face-to-face, negotiating an offer, buyer presentation, listing presentation, uh, whatever it might be, the words that come out of your mouth largely dictate the success that you're going to have. And if the words that come out of your mouth are insufficient or they really don't cause you to look like the expert that you are, it's very easy for everything to sort of fall apart at that point. On the other hand, though, the opposite is also true. If the words that come out of your mouth clearly cause you to be to be perceived as the expert that you are, the competent, confident provider of information, the expert, then it's the opposite. And when it comes to things that are important, consumers want to work with an expert. Given the option, their largest single financial asset or investment, if given the option, they would prefer that they would use the the best expert that is available to them. And in the presence of that kind of value, cost is not the number one issue. And on that note, specifically what I wanted to share with you here today is how important that we understand if we do a good job explaining to our buyer when we're sitting down with our buyer, which we are required to do with the new National Association of Realtor Regulations, we are going to, as agents working with buyers, we need to be transparent and spell out and explain exactly what we're going to get paid and how we're going to get paid. And some great language that you want to have for that appointment. After you've talked about all of the benefits of working with you, your specialized knowledge, any unique selling propositions, unique services that you offer, performance guarantees that you might offer, statistical data that backs up your track record, etc. Once you've talked about all those things, the tremendous value that you add to the uh, experience of, of working with you exclusively as their representative, we need to talk about how we get paid and some great language that you might want to consider practicing and using is this. What we're essentially saying to our buyer is everything that I've just shared with you here, all of my services, all of the benefits of working with me, everything that I'm doing on your behalf, you need to understand all of these services are 100% free to you. In fact, if and only if I successfully help you find, negotiate successfully, and close successfully on your dream home. Only then will I be compensated 3% or whatever it might be from the proceeds of sale that we're going to negotiate as closing costs from the seller. Does that sound fair? Does that sound fair? Now, the question of does that sound fair, what you're what you're essentially saying is, is it fair that everything that I've just laid out and shared that I'm going to do for you, I'm willing to do for free without any compensation, no upfront compensation whatsoever. I'm willing to do all of this and only get paid from the proceeds of sale, provided that we are successful in not only finding your dream home, successfully negotiating on it and closing it. And then and only then will I get paid from the proceeds of sale negotiated in our offer as closing costs paid from the seller. Does that sound like a fair proposition to you? And when you position it that way, it does sound completely fair. Now, wouldn't be unlikely that your buyer says, well, explain that. How exactly does that work? When we make an offer, In the offer, baked into the offer, is going to include the seller is going to give back 3% to help cover buyer's closing costs. Standard. We do that with all kinds of different closing costs. My fee will be one of them. Because if we don't do it that way, then you're coming up with that out of your pocket, and that money needs to go towards your down payment and anything else that you'd like to do. So the more that we can wrap up into financing, so while we're negotiating the price of the property and we're negotiating to close the transaction, at the same time, my fee can be wrapped into that so it's not coming out of your pocket. Instead, it's wrapped up into the financing. Does that make sense? Now, what I have come across in speaking with a lot of agents that are 
you know, used to selling free. A lot of them never got their buyer to sign a buyer agreement upfront, even when their services were 100% free. See, this is one of the realities in our business. If we struggled before selling free, because remember, to a buyer, I mean, it's like everything that I do for you, guess what it costs? Nothing. Well, what if I end up buying a home? Costs you nothing. I get paid by the seller. Yeah, well, that's that's all. Like, yes, selling free should be really easy. I give you everything. You, you're you not obligated to buy anything. Whether you do buy anything or whether you don't, I you don't pay me a nickel, right? Like that was the old way. And realtors still struggled. Selling free, right? Well, now all of a sudden, freak it out because... I have to disclose and make transparent and explain my fee and how exactly it's going to work, how I'm going to get paid, and in what circumstance am I going to get paid. This is nothing to be afraid of, but again, as we began talking about, this has to do with the words that come out of our mouth. And remember this, benefit always comes before commitment. What that means is this, we never begin by talking about our fee or what's in it for us. We always begin any kind of dialogue with the benefit to the prospect. We talk about our unique services. We talk about how we're going to help them. We talk about what unique, um, perhaps, uh, guarantees that we offer. We talk about our track record. We talk about how we help someone else, and this was the outcome. The benefit of working with you exclusively must always come first before we talk about the commitment. Because remember, if we build up enough value in working with you, then the price isn't and cost isn't the issue. They want to work with you based on the merits of your business. So we can explain to them, you're in good hands. Here's how I negotiate my fee with the seller on your behalf. Does that sound fair? And you know what the answer is? Of course it's fair. You just got to get really good at it as well and learning this language. So I hope you find that helpful and I'll look forward to presenting another helpful tip next week. If you're not already subscribed to Agent Inner Circle, you got to do that. Get on the Agent Inner Circle website. Make sure you're, you subscribe. Also, if you would like more training on lead conversion, agentleadtoclose.com, you want to go there and check it out. It's no contract. It's pay as you play. It's good sales training to learn how to better convert the leads that are already sitting in your database that you've already paid for, you're already paying for, you met at open houses, you got all these leads. What if I told you you don't need to spend any more money generating leads, you need to invest a little bit in what you do with those leads. That is the mistake we see agents make. They spend all this money and resources and time, lead generation, lead generation, and nothing on the lead conversion. They think, oh, well, I'll just, you know, the fish will jump in the boat and cook and clean themselves and I'll, no, no. What ends up happening is you become a collector of leads that other realtors will sell homes to or, or represent in, in their sale. That's, that's not what we're trying to do here. We need to invest as much in how we convert our leads as we do in generating them in the first place. I'll tell you, when you put that together, Sky's the limit.